Hey guys, it's Ishani. So first things first, if uh, it sounds like there's a straight up alien invasion going on in the background of this video, there pretty much is. Um, there has just been a ton of construction going on outside my building. And honestly, if I sat here and waited for all of the beeping and screeching and yelling to be over, we may just never have a video because this construction has been going on for literally a year now. But uh, anyways, so during this whole quarantine lockdown situation, I have gotten a ton of messages, comments, Instagram DMs asking me what I did to kind of stay on track with my fitness. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys probably know that about two years ago now, I lost a lot of weight. I actually lost about 50 pounds total. If you guys have watched any of my previous weight loss videos, like my weight loss story journey video, an update on my weight loss, stuff like that, you guys may know that the way I lost weight is by going to the gym and sitting my butt on that treadmill. Well, not sitting on the treadmill, obviously, but just power walking on the treadmill every Every day between that and just kind of portion controlling what I eat I was able to lose a lot of weight. Now, obviously we're in a time where I can't go to the gym. You guys probably can't go to the gym. Gyms are closed and have been closed for a while now. The gym really isn't the most sanitary place. There's a lot of sweat and heavy breathing and people in close proximity. Obviously that was gonna be one of the things to shut down, but I was really, really nervous because my routine to stay in shape and to stay fit was to go to the gym. And I genuinely thought if the gym was gonna be closed, I was afraid I was gonna slip back into old habits. You know, your body makes habits. When you go to the gym every single day, at least five days a week for years, you're used to that. You're used to doing that, that is your routine. So when you stop doing that, because you can't literally do that anymore because gyms are closed, it feels very weird. I went to the gym, not just because for weight management, but also because I just liked it. It made me feel better. It put me in a good mental state. Releasing those endorphins definitely made me feel good. Like it made me happy. It made me feel like I accomplished something that day. So I had to start improvising. I had to start changing my routine as we all have had to do through this, unless you have a home gym. And in that case, I mean, lucky you jump on the treadmill and take a picture and send it to me so I can be just super jelly of your treadmill. But I don't have a treadmill. I don't have a home gym. I don't even have weights in my apartment. So for this video, I went ahead and compiled a list of tips and tricks that maybe you guys can incorporate into your daily routine just to either keep you on your fitness goals, keep you on your weight loss track if that's what you're going for, or if it's just something you want to do more for a mental health aspect. I do think fitness is really, really good for your mental health. And in this time, during this whole lockdown and quarantine time, I think we're all trying to do something for ourselves, for self-care, for mental health. I'm hoping some of these tips may help you out. Now, some of them are going to be pretty freaking obvious. Go into this video with a grain of salt. I'm not telling you guys things you guys have probably never heard before. These are all pretty basic tips and tricks but these are the things I've been doing. And honestly, they have really helped me and they have just kept me in a really good, at least fitness maintenance phase. You know, like I haven't gained any weight through this quarantine by doing these tips and tricks. I'm also not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a fitness expert, I'm not even a fitness YouTuber, so I don't know that much about this kind of stuff. I just know it works for me. I have to give that disclaimer. My first big tip and thing that I think People will say, you probably already know it, but I think you need to hear it. Exercise, fitness, all of that, it's not an all or nothing kind of game. Just because you can't go to the gym and do your intense cardio or lift your really heavy weights, that doesn't mean that you can't do something. Some movement in your day is still better than no movement. You will see a lot more progress even if you do something, even the bare minimum amount of exercise that you can do in your own home versus just 
sitting on the couch and literally doing nothing. I mean, even if you do something as simple as just standing in front of the TV as you're watching Tiger King and just marching in place. Instead of sitting, watching Tiger King, laying on your couch, just stand up, march in place, or just take laps around your living room or your bedroom or wherever you're watching TV. Simple little things like that. I mean, you're probably not gonna break a sweat. It's not gonna be the most intense cardio you will ever get, but it's still better than nothing. So that would be my first tip. My next tip, which I think is a little bit more for a mental health aspect, is to stay off the scale. I know this is gonna be a tempting one to do. I know that especially if your mindset is that you wanna lose weight, you think that you have to be stepping on that scale every day, every couple days, every week, whatever it is. During this time, obviously it is gonna be harder to maybe lose weight. And I think for mental health aspects, it can be really damaging to step on the scale and potentially see the numbers go up a little bit. So what I would recommend doing is, I know we're all kind of stuck in the house for the most part, and you're probably not wearing jeans. At least I'm not wearing jeans. If you're someone that lounges around your house in jeans, like that's your comfy clothes. I don't even know what you're doing with your life. Like sort it out. I'm always in sweats, I'm always in leggings, I'm always in something kind of stretchy, something comfy, probably something oversized. So what I have been doing every like week or two is just putting on a pair of jeans. Put on that pair of jeans that you knew fit you pre-quarantine and just put it on and see if it fits you about the same. Maybe it's a little bit tighter. Maybe you have to like squeeze into them just a little bit more. But if you can get the pants buttoned, I think you're in a pretty good state. In terms of actual exercises, again, not a lot we can do. I have personally taken up yoga. The one piece of fitness equipment I had in my apartment was a yoga mat. So I decided to put on yoga videos on YouTube. There are some really, really great home workout videos on YouTube. I opted for yoga because I tried doing the high intensity ones, you know, the ones where they're like, okay, do 15 push-ups. Okay, now do 10 squats. Okay, now do 20 mountain climbers. Personally, I really hate that kind of exercise, but if that is your jam, again, there are so many at-home workout videos on YouTube. There's also a ton of workout dance routines if you like to dance. There's like Pilates videos. Like I said, I've been doing yoga. My favorite YouTube yoga channel has been Yoga with Adrian. She is amazing. She's so like funny and relatable and all of the workouts she does, like her yoga routines, she always gives you multiple alternatives for some of the moves that may be a little bit too advanced. Yoga is a big one. It's one I would highly recommend because it not only gives you a good workout, but it also puts your mind in a really, really good place. It's almost equally physical exercise as it is a mental exercise, and I love that. So yoga is a big one. Another way that I have personally been staying active through this quarantine is just going outside and taking walks. I've never been a jogger, I've never been a runner, you guys probably already know that, but just going outside, getting fresh air, taking a walk, just stay safe, do the social distancing thing, wear a mask if you have to, but just go outside, get some fresh air, get some sun on your skin. You guys have no idea how much better you will feel after you do that. Another tip for you guys, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the walking thing, is normally I would jump on the treadmill and do 40 minutes of kind of intense walking. I would set the treadmill at an incline and I would definitely be power walking for 40 minutes straight. Now that that's not really an option for me anymore, what I've noticed is when I go outside to walk, I will walk for a longer period of time. So instead of just being at the gym for 40 minutes, I'll go outside and walk for like an hour and a half. And that gives you two benefits. You obviously get the benefits of walking, you're putting your body in motion. But the best part about that is you're also killing time. That's another big one. I know so many people are indoors with so much time on their hands and inevitably, what do you do when you're bored with time? You snack. 
you snack, you find things in your pantry, you munch on chips, you munch on cookies, you munch on all the snacks. You know what you can't do if you're outside walking for an hour and a half? You can't snack. So there are so many benefits to keeping your body moving, keeping yourself a little bit outside of the house, but you definitely wanna find decent ways to occupy your time to maybe curb the snacking. And that's another tip I have is that when your brain is kind of focused in, honed in on an activity, it can be any activity, but just something that you're really invested in, you are definitely Definitely less likely to eat the snacks. Whether that's doing a puzzle, coloring, filming or editing a video, doing at home workouts, FaceTiming with your friends, doing any little activity. If you don't let yourself get bored, you will be less likely to snack. An obvious tip, an obvious thing that we all know, but sometimes it's good to hear it. It's good to hear it sometimes because it does work. Another tip, this doesn't go just for the quarantine time, but this goes for all the time. If you're trying to lose weight, my biggest tip is to not drink your calories. This is a hard one. This is a hard one, I think for everybody, but if you eliminate alcoholic beverages, if you eliminate the sodas, if you eliminate the milkshakes, the smoothies, all of that kind of drinking stuff, you will notice that your calorie intake is significantly lower. It's a lot harder to eat a ton of extra calories. I mean, it's not impossible depending on what you're eating, obviously, but it is a lot more difficult to eat a lot of extra calories than it is to drink excess calories. I mean, a typical margarita has like 200 calories per margarita. You drink three of those, you're already at 600 calories. That's a lot of extra calories. If you're doing that every day, every other day, which I know in quarantine is easy to do and I'm not here to judge anybody that needs a little bit of adult beveraging, but this is just a quick, easy tip I would recommend to someone who's maybe trying to continue their weight loss journey or maintain their weight or not gain weight or whatever, if you cut out the extra liquid calories, you will, you will notice a difference. And the final thing I want to say in this video before we wrap it up is that if you fail, and I'm putting fail in quotes, if you've been on a weight loss journey and throughout this quarantine time you weren't able to maintain that, if you ended up gaining some weight, or you just remained stagnant, you didn't continue losing weight like you were hoping you would, that is okay. Ultimately, in my opinion, the biggest thing you can do for yourself is put your mental space in a good spot. That didn't even make sense. Put your mental state in a good space. Put your mental, keep your mental state good. Anyways, you guys know what I'm trying to get at. As long as you're in a good headspace throughout this, once we get out of this, because inevitably life moves on, we will get out of this at some point. The gyms will reopen at some point. You will be able to jump right back onto that horse and continue your weight loss journey if that's what you wanna do. Anyways, that is all that I have to say in this video. I know some of these tips and tricks were super obvious and kinda dumb and I feel like, I don't know if this video was super helpful, but if it helped even one of you guys out, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Right now the YouTube platform is doing some really weird things and making some really weird changes and I know a lot of the creators you watch have said can you please thumbs up the video subscribe if you like me go ahead and turn on the notification bell but it is important for us creators to sometimes say it because when you give me a thumbs up it does help this video and my channel get recommended out to more people and subscribing and hitting the bell will allow you guys to be notified when I upload new videos because again the YouTube platform is doing some weird stuff but uh, yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and happy and healthy and let us all know if you guys have any extra tips and tricks to kind of stay healthy, stay moving during this quarantine time. Let us know in the comments down below because I know that a lot of us, myself included, would love to hear what you guys have been doing to try to stay healthy. I appreciate you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video very soon. I'll see you then. Bye.